Now we continue with the discussion of the further discussion on the union budget. Mr. Rupin Bora. Thank you. Ah, Rupin Bora. Thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir. Sir, this budget 2017 and 18 placed by Honorable Finance Minister is full of monumental words, ornamental words, and the tall claims. There is nothing, sir. And in the budget, in the budget, sir, though there are tall claims, but those who no, don't stand there, go out, go out, don't stand there. But no the any steps order, have been taken. Don't how stand on the passage and talk, how all of you, please. The targets of the budgets. Sir, first let me come to agriculture. In 2014, when the BJP government came to yeah, power, they have taken the target of agricultural growth 4.6 percent. They have taken the agricultural no. growth 4.6 percent. But now it is very surprising, sir. After three years, they have taken the target 4.1 percent. Normally, the target should have been increased year after year. But now they have taken the target of 4.1 percent. Now my question is, sir, my apprehension that this 4.1 percent target will also not be achieved because, sir, the budget has not taken any steps to address the problems. The first problem is the most of the farmers in the country are committing suicide. There is no steps government has taken to control the suicide of the farmers. There is crores and crores rupees of farmers' loan. The BJP government and Prime Minister have also assured to waive the loan and our Congress party and our Vice President Rahul Gandhi has taken Padajatra and countrywide agitation for waiving the loan of the farmers, but the, in the budget and the government has not only taken steps to waive the loan. <coughs> Apart from that, sir, the adverse effects of the demonetization, the due to demonetization, the farmers, there is a great loss to the farmers. They have no money to purchase the fertilizers, to seeds. Then the preceding two years, there is a severe drop. Not, even, not only that, sir. The Prime Minister, there is a program. Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sansayani Jujana. It is in this program. There is a promise this whole khet me pani. But it is very surprising, sir, in the last year, 2016 and 2017, the government have been able to release only 30% of the fund of the budget allocation. So this is the affairs. This is the sincerity. This is the performance. So under this performance, how can we expect that this target 4.1% will be achieved. Apart from that, sir, the Pradhan Mantri Fossil Bima Jujana, this has also been not covered by all the crops, all the farmers, all the crops, and in all the states, as for example, in my Assam and Northeastern states, many of the states have not yet implemented the Pradhan Mantri Fossil Bima Jujana. So under this backdrop, Sir, we cannot expect that this 4.1% agricultural growth in this budget can be achieved. This is one point. My second point is, sir, Manerega. In the Enrega, though the government this time in the budget have increased and its allocation is 48,000 crores. All right, but out of this, 14,000 crores is the backlog. The wages of the laborers have not been paid. This is backlog. And another thing, sir, simply increasing allocation. The problem can never be solved unless there is a will from the government. The last year in the budget, the Enrega fund have not been released to many states. And apart from that, sir, it is very unfortunate. The Indira Abad Juzuna scheme, 
one of the most popular and effective scheme of the Congress government providing Next house to the poor people. But this government, I do not know what the crime our this great my beloved leader has done that this name of this team has been changed as the Pradhan Mantri Abbas Jujana. So how it can how it can achieve the purpose of the people, poor people? What crime our late Prime Minister has done? She laid her life in the hands of extremists for the unity and integrity of the country. But we have abolished this scheme. Indira Abbas Jujana. Similarly, sir, this Rajiv Gandhi Grandma Bhaiduti Karal Jujana that has been implemented by our uh, previous UPA government and uh, thousands and thousands of villages have been electrified. But now this government have changed it to Deen Dayal Upaidhai Gram Juti. So what is, what is the problem? We do not object. Let, in the name of Deen Dayal, also, there should be another scheme. But why this scheme that Rajiv Gandhi drive of Vajjuti Karan to be replaced in the name of Dindayal? It is a very unfortunate disrespect. This Rajiv Gandhi, who laid his life for the unity and integrity of this country, but this is a great this is a disrespect to the leader, to the prime minister of our country. So with these narrow thinkings, with these thinkings, how we can achieve the target of the budget? The, apart from this, sir, uh, this Dindayal, Dindayal Upadhyay Gram Juti Chuzana, this target has been taken that by 1st May 218, 100% villages of the country will be electrified. Mm -hmm. This is a tall claim, sir. I have seen in many places, no posts have been no, it is not started. Thousands and thousands of villages are lying unelectrified, half electrified. So it is only tall claim. It is that there is no reality. Then I have come to other part. There are some schemes. The BJP government has declared some schemes. What are these schemes? Make in India, get up India, start up India, stand up India, Digital India, Smart City, Skill India. Now, sir, my point is, then what these schemes have to do with the common people, day-to-day -day life of the common people? Our common people want what they want. They want food. They want drinking water. They want education. They want midday meal, the food security, electricity, medical facility. But these schemes, how these schemes will improve the, uh, the purchasing power of the people, the per capita income of the people, how these schemes will change the lifestyle of the people. But our UPA government has taken hundreds and hundreds of individual beneficiary schemes in order to elevate poverty, in order to uh, uh, improve the lifestyle of the people. Now, the government has not taken any steps. These schemes have been announced. But what about the control of prices? The non-subsidized LPG prices have gone up to rupees 800 per cylinder, which was 350 during the days of our UK government. The kerosene oil prices have increased 20 paisa per liter per month. Under this BJP government coming to power, sir, under these three years, these kerosene oil prices have gone 20 paisa per liter per month. So this is the position. So apart from that, the petrol prices, so far the petrol prices are concerned. This massive, this, there is a global, there is a global crude oil prices where fall. There is a fall of, very fall of global, global uh, uh, crude oil prices. But in spite of that, the government has imposed massive excise duty on petrol and diesel, on petrol and diesel. So with this, so this, how we can expect that the budget will give, a budget will give benefit to our common people? 
sir, now I apprehend. This, all these schemes, the way the BJP government is declaring this scheme, like make in India, get up India, start up India, I'm repeating again, stand up India, digital India, skill India. I apprehend, sir, tomorrow they will declare, get out India, sit down India scheme. Get out India, sit down India scheme, tomorrow they will declare. So now I am coming to another point, sir. So far the employment is concerned which is one of the vital issues of our country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi declared that he will provide two crores employment opportunities every year. And in the election manifesto of the BJP party in 2014 election, they have very proudly declared that if BJP government comes to power, they will provide two, two crores employment opportunities to the young people. But it is very surprising, sir. There is no any provision in the budget. In the two budgets, they have passed. Now, this is the third budget. In the budget, they have not taken any steps for giving employment opportunities. But only the only one scheme, Skill India, Pradhan Mantri Kausal Juzana. But what is the threat of Pradhan Mantri Kausal Juzana, sir? In the last year, the National Skill Development Corporation has been able to identify only 5% candidates who got placed after being trained under Pradhan Mantri Kausal Vikas Jujana. So this is the affair. This is the fact. Only 5%, only 5% youths who have taken training under Pradhan Mantri Kausal Jujana, they have been placed only service. But less than 95% are Baker are unemployment. So how, how we can expect so in the budget, these things are not there. My last point, sir, demonetization. So in the demonetization, a horrible figure. Sir, first of all, in the, this is not my figure. This is the Reserve Bank of India declared. What is that, sir? Demonetization was declared on 8th of November 2016. But the Reserve Bank declares one very horrible figure. From 16 September to 30th October, within this one and a half month, there is the, in all of our India, there is a bank deposit of 6.5 lakh crores of rupees. There is bank deposit. And 3 lakh crores of fixed deposit. Now question, this Reserve Bank says that no, never in India, never in India within one and a half months, such a huge amount of money has been deposited in the banks. So what does it mean, sir? What does it mean? Definitely, the, it was leaked to their favorite peoples. Those people who are having the money, they have been leaked, and they have deposited the amount before formal declaration of the demonetization. Not only that, sir, another figure, the, this after demonetization, when the, we common people, we all deposited our 500 notes and 1,000 1, notes to the bank, the case ratio of the bank have tremendously gone high. As a result, what happened, sir? Common people for agricultural loan, he has to move from pillar to post. He has to move in the bank for years together just to get two lakhs of rupees loan, one lakhs of rupees loan. But within this one and a half month of demonetization, this bank has given loan, this is Reserve Bank of India's data, to these groups, Anil Ambani Group, Mukesh Ambani Group for launching of Zio scheme, Ruya Group, JP Group, Gautam Adani Group, all these six lakhs crores of loan have been given to them within this one and a half month of the demonetization. This is so, this demonetization has been used, announced only to help these big businessmen, big capitalists, big corporate sectors, not for the common people. So these figures substantiate all this, sir. So therefore, I want to conclude my time is now, um, you, you have rang up Bill. So now my last point that BJP government slogan is Sapka Saat, Sapka Vikas. 
But the circumstances, these figures <coughs> have shown that that Ambani Adani ka saath BJP neta ko vikas, not sabka saath sabka vikas. Thank you, sir. Thank you.